Hello everybody, Dan Tron here. I am back. Uh, surprisingly, I have been... Not actually surprisingly, I've been gone for a while. I've been uploading a video here and there. And it has been because I've been rather busy with uh, ghoul work and all that. It's annoying. Today I'm uploading a video, thought it'd be nice, because I actually ended up getting sick today. And... Sorry for the lowest uploads. Like, my last upload for a video was, like, a month ago. But, uh, yeah. I, today I was just watching some of my stop motions. And as I was watching some of them, I was cringing. <laughs> you know, you watch your own videos, you cringe a bit. And it's like, wow, I, I made that. Um, I noticed one of my stop motions. I Oh, Happy Easter, by the way. I remembered these little guys. And they were in my Christmas stop motion. I want to do a lot with SD Gundams. I really like them. I just like the design. They're so small, but these guys are really amazing. I don't even know if you can consider them SD Gundams, because it says it's SD Gundam, but I'll get to it later. I'm planning on doing two reviews today, so. I, I'm i planning on making an Easter video. It's a little late now. I know so it'll be a late is Easter video. I have actually gotten quite the collection of more SD Gundams lately, so that's nice. I have a new one I have to build. But we're reviewing these guys today, so these guys are from, I don't remember what series, but it is one of the, oh shoot, Build Fighter series. I think it was the Build Diver series. I don't remember what episode they show up on, but I remember seeing it and I was like, huh, I wonder if there's a Gunpla of that. And it was the Super Shock Gundam, so... These guys all don't come in one big box together. I think there's two versions of the Super Shock Gundam, by the way. But it comes with five little SDs, as you can see here. We have a Sharzaku and... I don't remember. Oh, no. An RX-78-2 and... Oh, God, I don't remember. And then we have this guy, which I think is the Shock Gundam. So, oh, wait, right there, SG Gundam. These each come in their own separate little box. They can be combined to form the Super Shock Gundam, which I will probably not be doing because sadly I only have the one box left. Like I said, they all come in their own little boxes and surprisingly it doesn't show you how to combine all of them together. So hi Mickey boy, this is my dog, he's being cute. And I just hit my table, hello. <laughs> I just used these guys in a video before, and I just wanted to bring them out today. I thought we could do a little review, but like I said, they do combine. Uh, these two form the arms. Doo -doo -doo. My other finger wasn't showing up. Leg, leg, torso. Uh, I'll try to combine them today. I know I didn't show like how to transform the uh, Psycho Gundam. That was simply because I just didn't remember how, and I tried, and I couldn't get it to do it. But yeah, uh, so I'm gonna get on to it. I'm trying to make this video short. I ain't got much space left on my phone. These guys, I like using them in stop motions. I really like them. I think together I got them for like $20, $30 altogether. They were cheap at the time, although that was like five years ago. I, I really like these guys. Uh, uh, I should probably do articulation, but I want to do a size comparison. I keep forgetting to do size comparisons, so I'm going to pull out an actual SD Gundam. I think these guys are considered SD Gundams, I'm not sure, but pull up the Zaku. I'll get the other Zaku to do a size comparison. You've probably seen this in the video before. They are a tad bit smaller <laughs> than the actual SDs, and they're all little easier to build too. Their boxes, as you can see in the background, aren't too big. This is things folded out because you don't actually get instructions for these. The instructions are in the box. They all have roughly the same articulation, so I'm going to get the RX-78 out to do the articulation size comparison. Ah, less size comparison, geez. Uh, okay, let's do this. So, here's a little RX-78-2. 
The joints are a little stiff on these guys. I feel like they're going to break every now and then, but every now and then they get loose. I don't know what it is. You have a full 360 on the head. Zaku does not work that well with the 360 for obvious reasons. You can do a 360 with the arm, of course. Oh, and then the joints come off. Yeah, these guys weren't really meant for posing. Arm is, yeah, it pops off easily. The little fists are surprisingly jointed. Gotta make sure I'm staying on the camera and the fist is coming off on me. You get some hip rotation, which is nice. And, oh boy, I don't remember what's up with these joints. Uh, oh, yeah, no, those aren't turning anytime soon. These can turn, but they are very stiff. My nails need to be clipped, holy cow. They all each have their own little weapon. I don't know what some of them have, though. I've only watched... I watched Build Fighters, never completed it. Good show, by the way. Build Divers, I mean. I haven't completed Build, build Up. I haven't completed either of them. I need to catch up on my Gundam. <laughs> but I only know this and this, because I haven't actually gotten to the series these two are in. Well, I have. I've only watched the movie, though, so I don't know much. They each come with their own little weapon. RX-78 has his bazooka. Sharzaku has a little machine gun. Uh, this guy, I don't remember what his weapon's supposed to look like. I have it set up differently. The other two have their respective weapons. I don't know if this is a beam saber. I think it is. That's what my guess was. He also has his own little bazooka, but I gave it to this guy because he's stuck with a sword and I thought it looked cooler like that. Oh, I'm tired. Just woke up. Uh, not much to these little guys, but they're all... Oh my god, my screen keeps getting away from them. They're all really nice. I think they only show up for like one or two episodes in the show, which is kind of sad. I don't know what happens to the other one. The other one is practically the same. I don't have the other one. But it comes with the base guy right here. And then I think it comes with like... I don't know. I think it was just two asterisks that were very similar. No, it comes with four asterisks, I think, all in different colors. Anyways, these guys are just smaller than the normal SD, and I remember I got them at the time because I wanted to get more than one SD. You can buy them all together in one box, or you can buy them separate. They are compatible, I think, with that other new one, but you can also, for some weird reason... Combine them with your other Gundams, which I don't think they do in the show. Watch as they probably do. Okay, I'm going to try and combine them today. Let's see if I remember how. We will start off with him, because he's probably the easiest. So, i got to take off all their weapons. I've already hit the eight-minute mark. Can you believe that? Wow. I haven't done a review in a while. Holy cow. <laughs> I just got an Oculus lately. Let me tell you about that. that those things are... Pretty nice. They work well for a VR headset. I will say the battery life sucks, the two hour limit. I'm not gonna complain though, cause two hours is enough. Although then you have to wait another two hours. Planning on having a friend use it lately and I'm gonna do a review on it. Maybe I'll do a review on it soon, haven't decided. I haven't done a lot of reviews lately, okay. Let's push everyone to the side. Please don't fall apart on me right now. So, we shall start with, I don't remember where half of these go. Oh, wait. Okay, take off the V-fin. It's not really a V, it's more of a W in that. But you know what I mean. Go ahead, grab the V-fin. Just plop it on there. Oh, I, I'm going to show you guys what I mean by the instructions real quick, too. So, each box has, don't throw away the boxes if you don't, can't remember them. Uh, it has instructions for what you have to do. I might have to turn around and look at the instructions for this one. I think I'm going to have most problems with this guy right here. Because he doesn't even show up on the box because someone's covering it up. Uh, I bought these guys. I don't even remember how I got these. Jeez, I think I got them off the USA Gundam store. Those guys are wonderful people. So, just plop that piece on there. And this does involve parts forming, because trust me, there's no other way you can combine these guys. 
And as you can see, there's two little spots for the arms back here. Just move the arms. Do, 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 do. This is going to take a while. I remember this is the reason why I didn't want to do a review on this guy at first, because I knew everyone would want to see the combined form. Surprise, no one freaked out on me for that on the other Gundam, the Psycho Gundam. This one does have the better moving legs, better than the RX-78 Gundam. As a matter of fact, I don't even... Oh, no. Nope. Never mind, I say that, and it decides to... No, Dan, Tron, I don't have the better legs. Yeah, I haven't done a review in a while. And that's completely my fault. Okay. These legs are painful. I know my videos aren't the best of quality. I don't try to make them the best of quality. I try to make them just so I can record them on my phone. With the torso, by the way. And that is not because I'm lazy, surprisingly. It is just simply because I don't want to take forever. Now, I've left some pieces out. You get pieces to cover up the eyes on this right here. As you can see, there's a little joint right there you can put them in. I don't have those with me right now. Those are with the box that I usually keep all the extra pieces in. And I don't want to spend five years searching that. It's, it's the back rooms. It's the equivalent of the back rooms. What the heck? Oh, that's the arms. Arms go on the back. This is the right arm, by the way. Yes, I know my rights and left, surprisingly. Oh my god. Some of the joints on these guys, like I said earlier, are very stiff, so I'd suggest being careful. Lately learned that there's a website. Thanks to whoever that was on Discord, by the way, that helped me out there. I found a website. Well, they found the website for me, which was really nice of them where you can buy extra parts for Gunpla. Sadly, I don't think this is one of the ones, but pretty much it allows you to buy the whole clip of them. Which way doesn't want the legs facing? Why must the legs be facing the other way? Okay, this might just be easier to take off the legs here. Ah, there we go. Oh, wait. Does it just want the feet turned around? Oh my lord, it does. No wonder I couldn't get this the first time when I was younger. <laughs> As you can see, there's a little joint in here to make this guy the arm. Okay. Okay, the legs, the feet are supposed to come out, but I don't want to struggle with that all day, so let me find his backpack. You can see that he makes the fist. Oh, which way does his fist go in, though? E. E. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Holy cow, that actually worked. And little joint comes up the head. I have an arm now. See, the arm just goes in here. Ah, there we go. Got an arm. Uh, it's pretty ironic. The Gundam makes up one side of the arm, and we made this video 13 minutes long so far. Holy cow. Gotta speed run this. The funnels on this guy come off. Let's move this guy, because I have to remember how to do this leg. Okay. So, let's see. The backpack, as per usual, comes off. Take off the arms and the head. Uh, you can actually use these as different limbs, too, as you can see. This guy can also make an arm if you wanted. I don't know if they do that in the show or not. If they do, I have no memory of it. Okay, this time you have to move the whole leg around. Holy cow. Let me tell you, this looked a lot better in the show than it did as a model kit. <laughs> I really like these guys, though. Glad about it. Come on. 
How has it been 15 minutes? Holy cow, I look away from the clock for five seconds. 15 minutes, boom, like that. Oh, I better point out the stickers as well. Um, let me see, where does this go? Just on the back, okay. This guy also has the same things as the Gundam. He gets the little pieces that allow you to block his eyes. I will show you what they do with the Zaku soon. Oh, I lost a piece. Oh, that's wonderful. So by the looks of things, these two little ball things, not ball things, are supposed to go into the feet, not the feet, the legs. The hold the ankle biters. And then you only use these two pieces for the feet. Now, same with the Gundam. Little joint area you just plug it into. Yeah, I'll break it. Uh, then I'd feel terrible. I wouldn't even upload this video. I'd just make a new one. Oh, it just broke off a piece. God dang it. They did their best with this model kit down at Bandai. I'll admit that. Now, I'm gonna go to the other leg. I wanna point out something real quick. So, and this is a note, I don't know if this is just my model kit that had the problem or if everyone else's does, but the stickers are really good, unlike some model kits where the stickers won't stick when you put them on and they get stuck to your finger. These ones, though, are too good. This sticker right here is supposed to go on here. And yes, it does have a green eye, it's hard to tell. But this, I barely put it on there because I was trying to get it on, and I barely touched that, and I tried getting off, it got stuck there. I couldn't move it. If I would have tried anymore, it would have came off. Okay. Uh, this one, I don't know what I'm doing for. Take off the head, though, probably. Backpack. Arm. As you can see, these guys have a bit of dust. I don't know if the camera will pick them up. I try to dust them off frequently, but lately the only model kit that's been dusted off in my room is uh, the Gym Commander. That is because of his lack of stickers. I can just put them in some water. <laughs> oh boy, what am I doing? Looks like this guy has a similar thing where you just plug in these two pieces to the back. Oh boy, I don't like that sound. So you just have the little two ball sockets, ball sockets, yay. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I forgot these move. Hello. That makes a lot more sense. Oh, okay. Watch as I break this. <laughs> scared me. I thought something just broke. Where did that arm go? There it is. Okay. Ah, another leg complete. This alone has made the video 19 minutes long. Are you kidding me? We're gonna be off at the 20 minute mark by the time we finish this. I still have a weapon and another arm to do. We're finally down to charge Zaku. Boop! As of something I did in the original video for this. I, um, had his visor go down. <laughs> oh, his visor likes to come off, though, really quickly. Oh, wait, wrong way. Forgot which arm this was. 
Wait a minute. Uh. Oh, I forgot you can also make a lake with these guys. Okay. Okay. Guess the arm doesn't want to cooperate today. Let's see if I can just get the hand to stick on. The more I look at this, the more it looks like a Psycho Gundam. Hand, at least. I'm... Oh, I did it wrong again. Okay. No, we're just putting the hand on one piece. I can't do this all day. Wait. Which way? Am I doing this right? Probably not. I guess we're doing this today. <laughs> Sometimes when you have a problem getting the joints out, you can just use, I like to use the little sword thing. I'm calling it sword thing because I don't know what it is. There we go, okay. Where did his v pin go? There we go. Sorry, I have a bit of sniffles. I have the schniffles. The schniffly schniffs. The schniffles. I like how most of my Molokit reviews end up being around this time. Why is this one going to be the longest? I was hoping this would be the shortest. Do, 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 do. I try my best not to combine this guy whenever I do, because I don't want to. It is a pain to get them back into position. At the end of this video, I'm going to probably undo this, never do this again. Oh my lord. <laughs> okay. Boom. I kind of did it. I say kind of because I don't know if it's going to stick. That part's not staying on. Okay. Boom. Arm two done. I just need to get this guy on and then we're done. I don't think I'm going to combine the weapons. Okay, the hand just came off. Okay. That's the mess of what it looks like when you're done combining it. I'm not gonna go through articulation with this because it doesn't really have articulation once you combine it. Uh, oh, these. Uh, you're supposed to plug in the rest of the V-fins into the back once you are done. Yeah, no, I'm not trying that. You can see where they go though. One right there and then there's supposed to be another part where you put them in the back. Uh, now they're bigger than an SD. <laughs> Anyways. I, d I don't really like the combined mode. I prefer them their smaller size. But I'd rate this a... A good... 9 out of 10. I wouldn't rate it a 10 out of 10 just because the combined mode isn't the greatest. The articulation ain't the good... The Joints are just, it doesn't really do well. It does well in the picture though, so I'm either doing something wrong or they're just a lot better than me. Overall, I like the little smaller modes. I wouldn't, I would recommend it for beginners, but it does take a lot longer to make than you'd think. Um, yeah, that's all. Uh, you all have a wonderful rest of the day. I'm going to go get some coffee and try and wake up. I'm also going to get something to deal with my stomach, which is why I'm sick. Because I felt terrible this morning when I woke up. I will see y'all later. I'm not going to combine the weapons, though. I will show that.
It's not the greatest either. They don't stick that well. I'll see y'all later and have a great rest of your day. Bye.